What up my e-commerce pimps? Welcome to another weekly update. Let's go. And, all right, to start with, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dennis, how did you suddenly get so tall all of a sudden? Well, don't always believe what you see, ladies and gentlemen. I actually just rearranged the camera angle to look down on me. Actually, now I think about it, that might make me look shorter. All right, next. <laughs> Next week's video, I'm going to be looking like a giant, trust me on that. But okay, let's not waste any time, let's get into the video. Let's see, what has been going on for the past week? Uh, running like a madman, yeah. I don't want to talk about running much, but the uh, I've got like crazy amounts of blisters on my feet now from the, um, from the barefoot running shoes, so that's not good. But to be expected, because I've never ran with my bare feet before. So I feel I've got six blisters there right now which is kind of long but i've been running like 10k days so can't complain it's going well all right enough about that let's see what have i actually been doing the past week uh yeah so my high ticket drop shipping store which is the new business i'm trying to start sales have been trashed this month i think i've made one sale this month so i'm at like a fairly big negative i'm probably down uh, i might only be down like 100 100 quid this month so far which um might be a lot to you, but if you're in the business world, that's really uh, nothing. I'm basically break even, basically break even. But my effort on that store's gone down to practically nothing. Like I can't really be bothered with it anymore. I kind of give up. And um, yeah, and it was literally earlier today. It's a Sunday. Obviously, I've just been working most of the day and some running. But I took a bunch of learnings from that old store, and I finally I did a bunch of niche research, and I finally picked a new niche. So I'm going to start a new store. And basically the differences here are between the two niches in high ticket drop shipping. Um, so my original store was uh, all B2C. So I was selling to like consumers. This time my new store is going to be mostly B2B. And obviously if you're selling to like a business, they're going to be prepared to spend a lot more money. So I'm doing mo mostly, the new store is going to be mostly B2B. It's going to be higher priced items, which means bigger margins, which is good. On my old store, my average, my AOV was maybe, maybe like seven, eight hundred quid. This one, the average product cost is probably going to be at least like two grand, to be honest. So that should translate to higher profit margins. So that would be sick. Uh, so that's another learning. Higher priced items. B to C, not B. B to B, not B to C. And also in this new store is going to be stuff you can't really find on Amazon. My old store, like everything I was selling was also on Amazon. So yeah, these are some good learnings I'm taking from the old store, which I'm still going to leave running and still going to run, manage a little bit, uh, but mainly ditch and focus on the new store. So that's good, yeah. Bunch of learnings from the old store, it was a complete failure. Well, I made like £400 last month, but apart from that, it was a complete failure. I don't see myself scaling it. Uh, another news, my main business, Lovey Prince, has been doing well. Obviously, Father's Day is coming up. I'm probably, I'm putting in at least like £300 a day at the moment, which I'm not complaining. But pretty soon, maybe tomorrow or the day after, the sales are going to stop. So, it's going to get back to normal. But I mean, I can't complain. Uh, also regarding Lovey Prints, uh, I found a really cool product actually. I'm not going to explain what it is because I can't actually find a single person selling it. It's very similar to my LED frame that I showed in last week's video, but it's got like a cool twist that makes it even cooler. And the only reason I found it is it's not even really on AliExpress. I messaged the supplier and I was like, oh, hey man, I own this brand Lovey Prints. I'm ordering a bunch of your products to take photography with. Can you offer me a discount? And then... Yeah, the seller got super excited. He offered me a massive discount. I'm talking like 30, 40% off, like £10 off a £25 product. So that's pretty good, man. Uh, so that's great. And then he also like shared this new product with a twist, which I couldn't really find on AliExpress. So that's a fantastic sign. I'm gonna, I might even hire a proper photographer to do it because my photography, although I do have a decent camera, it's pretty shit. Mind you, these days, I don't know, I don't know what the obsession with photography is. Let me, let me take a sneaky sip of water. Like a year ago, I hired a um, photography tutor to teach me some stuff. And um, I don't know if you know much about photography. There's like the ISO, the F-stop and the exposure or something. I don't remember them all. But, so she taught me how, how to manually adjust all these settings to get like the perfect photo. And it was a fair bit of work to figure it all out. And then, um, 
yeah, I give the camera to my friend. And she's like, oh, you don't even know there's an auto setting that just automatically adjusts all the settings for you. So that's going to take you. I mean, you're only... That's like, <laughs> I didn't know that was there. The tutor sure shit never taught me. So that was a waste of fucking money. Uh, yeah, so cameras just do it automatically. And maybe, 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 maybe you can get it like 10% better by manually adjusting it. But really, you can do it with no skill, just with like an auto corrector thing. I don't know what you want to call it. But yeah, so... That was my little rant about photography. Yeah, so there's that, that, that. Yeah, and I thought I'd just maybe, I'd, I wanna try and do some stuff, like educational stuff. I thought I'd, I made a list of, off the top of my head, some of the things I tested on my original high ticket dropshipping store, cause I just could not make good sales of it. The conversion rate's like 0.2%. Now for high ticket, I don't know if that's good or bad, but, for a retail store, like my prices were better than everyone else to be honest, my product page looked better. My conversion rate should have been better to be honest, I think. I tested so much different stuff and I'll just go through some of the, some of the ideas that came to me were... Um, so I had a Y shop with us over Amazon section. I tried, I tested that. So in the Y we're better than Amazon section of my product pages, I'd put like... Uh, personalized custom service because obviously you can call us and chat to us about the products and you know while I'm on the phone to you I'll just be chat GBT all your questions in real time and it worked <laughs> can you believe like chat GBT is amazing uh, but the customer doesn't know that they're having a great time I mean I had I've had multiple customers I've sold like 30 things in it I've had multiple customers saying oh your customer service is top-notch so you don't really get that with Amazon which is fantastic uh, the other thing is we've got price beat guarantee so we'll match or beat Amazon's price. That's another reason we're better than Amazon. Another, there are two more reasons I had on that section. I don't remember what they were. Shall we actually check? Let's have a quick look. But the thing about, yeah, I mean, I put this on all my product pages and now the sales have just gone down. So the thing about, product page it's just you never know yeah price match better customer service yeah we go above and beyond so usually after I sell anything to a customer I'll like call them up after just to make sure they're happy with it and customers are like amazed that you actually do that it's quite nice but if you're selling like this if you're selling at 900 pound products you don't get much repeat business so although it's nice to do and obviously good business practice and I'll carry on doing it at least until I hire someone uh, it's not going to bring that much more revenue but I, yeah, we do have better customer service than Amazon. And you're, uh, we're a UK business, I've got. So you're supporting a UK business. A lot of people don't like giving money Amazon. So why wouldn't you rather give it to a UK business that's paying tax rather than Amazon, right? Those are four pretty solid reasons. So I put those all over my product pages. Didn't make a difference. If anything, I sold less after putting that. Um, that's the thing, you just don't know. Maybe people see the why we're better than Amazon section and they're like, oh shit, Amazon sells this? I'll just go buy it there. So, <laughs> you never know, man. You never know. Uh, yeah, I tested that. Speak to a pro section. I'd get like a random photo from this person does not exist and be like, speak to our X product pro on the products that sell X. Speak to our Y product pro for our products, for our... Uh, product pages that sell Y products. Obviously, it would just be a picture of the same person, which isn't even me, and the same name for all of them. Uh, that didn't make a difference. That didn't get more people to call either. Um, yeah, I tested that. That didn't work. Um, I tried offering free products with my gifts, free products for like twenty pound. Uh, countdown timers and stuff. I uh, order now within 12 hours or you won't get the free products stuff like that that didn't make a difference made absolutely no difference um i tried testing like different main images for the google shopping ads i'd put like the free product in the main image and google shopping with the text uh, plus a free blah 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 that's worth 40 pounds actually on the google shopping ad and yeah none of it worked none of it worked that, that's like a fraction of the amount of different things i tested to be fair i put a lot of work into those product pages a lot a lot of hours and uh, it's been a good learning experience i think yeah for my second store it should be a lot better going b2b higher price items you can't find them on amazon and uh also yeah one other thing there's only one other competitor that's coming at my angle 
So what I mean by angle is one of the niches I was looking into doing, which I'm not going to do, is like the mobility niche. So I think like mobility scooters, powered wheelchairs, stuff like that. Uh, I decided not to do that. But it's like one sub niche of that broader niche, which is I'm trying to find like a good sub niche would be, let's say at home mobility solutions. So that would be like these recliner chairs that help you stand up or those, those tables that can like swivel around to come over you or like a stair lift. That's a good product. Uh, so it's like a sub niche within the niche mobility. You've got the sub niche, which is like at home mobility, right? So there's only one other store I can find in the UK with the same like there's lots of people selling the same products but only one other person coming at it from the same angle as me from the sub niche angle I hope that makes sense so yeah hopefully it should slap hard mate I feel much more confident more prepared uh, honestly do I think the second store is going to be successful honestly probably not probably not it took me three different online stores before I ever even made my first e-commerce sale for £20. That was in like, that was like four years ago. Um, I feel like it's going to take my third store to be a success. And to be honest, going into this, I kind of felt like my third store was going to be the one that works. I don't know why. That's just a feeling I had. Maybe it's going to be like a self-fulfilling prophecy now. Woo! But that's it. Yeah, I'm going to try my hardest in the second store. Maybe it'll work could probably probably won't work I feel like but from what I learned from this second store especially doing b2b stuff and trying to sell like products that cost like two three four five grand instead of like 800 quid it's gonna be a good learning experience gonna get better on the phone um, yeah I'm gonna learn a lot and then hopefully if it fails for my third store I should be good to go man I should be good to go and I'll be well on track man I still got I made a YouTube video with a joke like, am I gonna? Is my is, is my business gonna be profitable enough before I become homeless? Uh, honestly, there's no danger of that. I'm ex I'm honestly expecting within six months to be doing quite well. And yeah, yeah, I'm quite optimistic towards the future. Keep working hard every day. Amazing things happen, huh? Let's go. All right, that's everything, lads. Uh, if you've got any questions, hit me up. That's another update. I tried to make it more educational if you're in the e-commerce space. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care.